Greetings, Rashi Narayan here, trans activist, author, actress, mystic, spiritualist, seeker. <laughs> I got a lot of things going on, okay? Let's just say I'm a multi-dimensional trans woman. So for the last few months, I have not posted any full frontal face shots of myself on any of my social media. And the videos I've done, I'm not showing my face. Either I'm doing it in a way that you can't see my face or I have a mask on, like I'm wearing today. I'm sure there's quite a lot of people out there that are thinking, okay, she's lost her mind. What is going on? This bitch is crazy. <laughs> no, I'm not crazy. I actually uh, was invited back for season three of Botched on the E! Network. And this time around, the doctors actually did surgery. Yes. And for the last few months, I have been bursting at the seams to share this with the world. And I haven't been able to because the deal was that I had to wait until season three started. <laughs> So anyway, um, it kind of came out of left field. The network got a lot of great feedback on me. Uh, Dr. Debro and Dr. Nassif definitely uh, took a liking to me, and I felt such a connection with both of them. And um, so I was invited back. And it kind of felt like the blessing came out of left field. I was very nervous about going through the surgeries, but I went for it. I just stepped out in faith, and uh, Dr. Dubro and Dr. Nassif were absolutely fabulous. I mean, I have to say, Dr. Nassif is the one that basically spearheaded uh, the whole... Uh, process, <laughs> if you will, because boy, was it a process. And um, now I can basically take this damn mask off. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> yes, see? Okay, I'm not going to be in the mirror, nitpicking and trying to tweak this and that because, hey, I've come a long way and I'm taking the blessing that I was given. I look at pictures of myself uh, that I took before the surgeries. Um, I look at videos that I've done and I think, wow, like, what an improvement. And... I just, I, I actually, like, also think, like, oh, my God, eh, your face was pretty bad. But, you know, I was just going forward, living life, just trying to make the best of things. So, anyway, I went out to film the show. I was supposed to only be there for about two weeks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, two weeks actually turned into about seven weeks. <laughs> now, Dr. Dubrow and Dr. Nassif, they felt like they should take a conservative approach to my situation. So surgery one was actually on my chin. They felt that it was the most, uh, the least, I should say, invasive and the least risky for me. So we went with the chin. I had the surgery. Basically, they had to send the stuff that they took out of my chin to the lab to test for something. I don't quite understand what all that was about, but all I did know is that if it came back saying that the substance was a particular thing. They wouldn't have been able to proceed. And so for a week, I'm healing. My chin is healing, and I'm waiting for these test results. Well, they came back, and basically the doctors gave me the green light. Yes, they did. Oh, my God. So 
Now it was the big kahuna. That's what I call that surgery. Surgery number two. And it dealt with my cheek area on both sides of my face. Six hour surgery. I was on that table for about six hours. And when I woke up, I felt like I had been run over by a Mack truck. I just, I felt horrible. It was just... Oh, it was bad. A lot. I had drainage coming out of both sides of my face. I was in a lot of pain. Um, so, another week, week and a half or a little bit more of recuperating from that. Then Dr. Debro said, I'm not done. He wanted to do a third surgery. And, uh, you know, it's so funny. I was in his office, and his wife came in, Heather Dubro, and she saw me, and she walked right over to me. She's like, Raji, how are you? It's so nice to meet you. And, um, you know, we hugged, and she said to me, she says, oh, my God, Terry, Terry Dubro, Dr. Dubro, Terry is his first name. She says, Terry talks about you all the time. And he said to me that he really felt like after meeting you in season two, a botch, that he could help you. He could do something for you. And, of course, he consulted with Dr. Nassif. And um, the two of them, you know, they just opened their hearts to me and gave me their expertise. Because when I tell you, I just look in my face now and I look in the mirror and I think, wow... You know, just, I mean, what a difference. And I, I'm, I'm so grateful. You know, I'm just so grateful. So, okay, surgery number three was, uh, basically, they wanted to go back into my chin because they still felt like they hadn't taken out enough. Uh, they did above my eyes because what had happened was, because of the substance migrating under my eye, uh, my body formed a scar tissue, quite a bit of scar tissue, above uh, my eyes. So it was giving me like that droopy, I call it the elephant eye effect. And um, so they removed that. They did my lip. They took the stuff out of my lip. And now you can see my teeth when I smile. Before, when I smiled, you could hardly see my teeth because my lip was so heavy. So, like, you know, hey. <laughs> so, yes, they did that. So, uh, then they bought an expert in that is uh, good with uh, fillers. And his name's Dr. Mest. Now, he's on the show, too. Uh, he's also the anesthesiologist. Uh, in the operating room. And uh, so he actually did some filler here and here because what was happening is, is I, I, I got like a bit of a sunkening uh, effect from like them removing a lot of the uh, substance. So yeah, so that was done. Okay. I think I'm done now, right? I fly back home to South Florida, and that whole week, you know, the producers and Dr. Uh, Dr. Debro uh, was asking me to send pictures of myself and do quick videos of myself, and about Thursday of that week, I thought to myself, okay, I bet you they're going to want me to come back out for another surgery. I just had that feeling. Sure enough, Friday, I got the call. <laughs> we want you back out next week. One more surgery. And so I flew back out and I did surgery number four. And that was uh, another surgery on both uh, sides of my face, on, on my cheeks again, because uh, the doctors felt like it wasn't enough, like it wasn't smooth enough, basically. So four surgeries later, uh, the first surgery was about three hours, uh, like two and a half. 
Uh, second surgery, s about six hours. And third and fourth surgery were about three hours um, each one. So we're talking, what, nine, about 15 hours of surgery. My God. And I'm still here. I am still here because I tell you, going through it, uh, there were some moments where I thought, am I doing the right thing? And am I going to be able to make it through this? But thank God, I, I was able to get through it and um, just the blessing has been phenomenal. The doctors, Dr. Debro, Dr. Nassif, Dr. Mess, all of their medical staff, just absolutely wonderful. The uh, producers of um, Botched from Evolution Media, all of the film crew. I mean, just so many wonderful people that uh, just, I, I, I say, rallied around me to uh, come back and do a season three with Botched and give me a new face. <laughs> yes, a new face. Uh, you know, I said something uh, while film filming the show, and maybe uh, some of you watching this video haven't seen the show yet, uh, but I'm sure they'll do reruns. <laughs> Yeah, because even up until this point, I'm still hearing from people around the world that are just seeing uh, season uh, me on season two, you know, and these are new people that are just seeing it. Because, you know, hey, there's so many people in the world, so, you know, each time I'm sure there's someone, a new viewer, that is hearing my story and connecting with me. But I said, uh, what I said this season is I made a comment to everyone there, and I said, you know, there's a saying, you don't judge a book by its cover. And I am a firm believer of that, because I know to the core of my soul that the true beauty of a person is the beauty of their soul. You know, it's it's within. But I said, <laughs> I have to admit, it's kind of nice to have a little revamping of my cover. <laughs> and recently, a friend of mine said to me, and who knows, <laughs> with revamping the cover, you might sell some, you know, more books, in other words, so it's, it, it's just, it's just been, it's just been wonderful, and I am so grateful, but I wanted to share with all of my fans slash supporters uh, around the world, thank you for your prayers and your good wishes and positive vibes, I truly, 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 truly appreciate you. Love, peace, and blessings.